Hey guys, everything for iPod here with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to showing you how to set up Mocha VNC. This was in a past video showing you how or showing you what it is. It's a way to view your computer and control it straight from your iPod or iPhone device. And now I'm just going to show you how you use it and how to set it up. So you can go to the App Store and you can search for Mocha VNC. There's a light version and there's a paid version. And you can get whichever one you happen to want. I got the paid version. So once you opened it up, it'll come up with a big arrow key. And on the top there'll be menu and connect. We'll do this in a bit. But before you do any connections, you want to go to your main computer. You want to go to your main computer. It can't really fit the screen, but whatever. And you want to go to this website, uvnc.com, and you want to go to the download page. This one specifically. This is the full version of the newest one that you need. There's Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, Windows 32-bit, and something else. Windows 64-bit, something else. Get whichever fits your computer. If you don't know, then I would just go with the 32-bit at the top, or the 64-bit at the top. So once you're done that, and you're done installing it, and you're done installing it to your choosings, to your choosing. Go to the program. You want to click UNC server. Not the view or the server. Okay, I figured out this. So once you open it for the first time, you'll click server, but in my case, I'll click edit settings. And you should get something like this. And it'll have a bunch of connections. It might be a little overwhelming at first, but I'll try to show you how to use it my best. In the connections tab, you'll have the really the only thing that you'll need to change is your where is it? Your security. You you'll want to change your password to something that you know. So you can set it up on your iPod. I changed it to something that I can remember just for me. So once you've done that, you'll click the VNC server and it should pop up down there. And then when you hover over it, your IP address will pop up. But I'm not showing you that because I don't want you guys to know my IP address for obvious reasons. So if it's working correctly, it should have your IP address. Then, you want to go back to your iPod, and you want to go to the top right and click Menu, and you want to do Edit Connections. Then you want to open a new one, and your enter your server or IP address. I will do that secretly. And there it's entered. Then you have your port, which, unless you, no, sorry. Then you should have your port, which, unless you changed it, should stay the same. Then you have your password, which you should enter, but I'm not going to show you. Then you have your name. Then you have name optional and you have if you're on a Mac hit that save passwords 32 bit color mouse with effect show warning and your needs help button so that you can do whatever you if you want to do that then change stuff like there 
if you accidentally mess up your IP, you can go back in and you can change it. And there we go. Now I'm connecting right. And look, there's my computer. My computer. There's my phone. And there's my iPod. Now, I can take it and I can double click on Google Chrome. And then, hold on. You can zoom in, double click, and look. That's how fast it popped up. And then if somebody's on your computer, you can mess around while they're on it. And you can go around and start clicking out and stuff like that. So this is a really useful tool. And not only useful, fun too. You can open up a keyboard and a mouse and lots of other stuff like that. That's basically it. That's all you need to know to set up. And if you have any questions, please send me a private message or send us a private message on YouTube. And this tutorial may have been a little unclear at some parts, but sorry. Thanks for watching.